In software or blockchain development, we all know when it comes to predicting time horizons for delivery, it's almost impossible. Yet one of Cardano's greatest criticisms is its speed of development. As a result of the length of time that's passed since its inception, some have mistaken this as a failure rather than its ultimate route to success. See, the future is not something we can predict with certainty, but it is, however, something we can engineer through vision, hard work and determination. Cardano is living proof of this, with each passing day as its future unfolds and becomes its past, what's materialising is exactly as it was built to be, an inclusive, interoperable, decentralised, ever-evolving, highly secure and scalable blockchain, intent on delivering a fairer system for everyone, everywhere. Whilst it's true there's still a long road ahead in actually achieving everything Cardano has set out to do, when we look at how far it's come, how far down the development roadmap we are, a lot of this great promise is now coming to fruition and in many respects, it's so close now we can almost touch it. Welcome back for today's instalment of Cardano Insights, delivering a fast-paced bite-sized roundup of the all-important Cardano news and ecosystem content from the past 24 hours. So join me as I explore exactly what's been happening at the very pulse of Cardano. So let's get straight into it. So to close off another great week in Cardano, I thought it'd be a good idea to recap on some of the most exciting things we have to look forward to that are coming very soon and in my opinion will be game-changing in making Cardano the most performant, attractive and decentralised blockchain. Rather than a deep dive, I'm going to just give a brief snapshot of each item, with links in the description if you want to take a more thorough look. So let's do this. First up, and something we've delved deep in on previous videos, probably the most anticipated of them all right now, the Vassal upgrade with these all-important SIPs. This is going to represent a major change in the capability of Cardano. Diffusion pipelining will allow for greater network throughput, while the new Plutus enhancements will open up new developer use cases and offer significantly improved DAP user experiences. Next, and to the implementation of input endorsers, this will further improve block propagation times and throughput. Keeping track of all submitted transactions and bundling these transactions into pre-constructed blocks, this will improve the consistency of the block propagation times, allowing for far higher transaction rates. Pipelining is a powerful technology. Benchmarks show up to 40% efficiency gains, this is going to play a major role for Cardano to meet scaling demands in 2022. 2023 will see the dawn of Ouroboros Laos, and this is expected to scale Cardano for the next five years. Now to interoperability, IOG's EVM sidechain alpha release, now on testnet, will in effect make Cardano another step further down the road of becoming the most interoperable blockchain in the space. This will enable Solidity applications to run on Cardano without sacrificing reliability or decentralization. Being a permissionless environment, users can build freely without any centralized approval. Solidity developers will be able to take advantage of Cardano's security, lower fees, and environmentally friendly proof-of-stake consensus algorithm to deliver sustainable growth on a technologically and environmentally superior blockchain. This enables developers to reach the widest possible audience without having to rewrite code, migrating both existing Ethereum projects or build from scratch in the Solidity programming language. Next to Hydra, the overarching concept for Hydra is the provision of a pioneering layer 2 scalability solution suitable for Cardano, a third generation blockchain. Hydra will drive down costs whilst increasing throughput and maintaining security. Hydra simplifies off-chain protocol and smart contract development by directly adopting the layer 1 smart contract system. In this way, allowing the same code to be used both on and off-chain. Hydra is in effect a dApp accelerator, with input endorsers removing consensus bottlenecks in the system everything becomes network constraint there on out, resulting in super high TPS. Now to Cardano and inclusive accountability. Currently, if you have a transaction sent to you on Cardano, you need to verify two facts. One, that the tokens are real, and two, that they've not been double spent. Currently, you would need either a full node or to trust the third party to verify these factors, which is either slow or centralized. Mithril will enable you to send a proof on the wire, and you can verify that proof with less than a full blockchain. Just a small amount of data, only several megabytes, meaning cell phones, for example light wallets, get the same amount of security as a full node wallet. This is pretty game changing technology, and it's going to go a long way in delivering trust and security for users when we think about mass adoption. Next to a groundbreaking identity solution. Decentralized identity is going to prove to be one of the most important factors when we think about the real file stack for everyday users to operate all aspects of their activity in the web free space. Atala Prism, a self-sovereign identity platform, offers the core infrastructure for issuing decentralized identities and verifiable credentials. 
Individual users can have full control of owning their identity and credentials, such as educational history, land deeds, medical records and credit reports. Users can seamlessly choose how they share this information through secure peer-to-peer -peer communication channels. This is the enabler of trust in the connected world. Atala is already being implemented by Ethiopia's Ministry of Education and Dish Telecom, who are piloting this innovative solution. Now a quick look at Marlow. Marlow is a programming language developed by IOG for writing and executing financial contracts logged immutably on the Cardano blockchain. Marlow can be embedded in any language offering financial contracts for blockchain that everyone can code, from individuals, businesses, financial institutions and governments. It is a domain-specific language for writing and executing financial contracts that allows users to apply their domain expertise to write and manage contracts conveniently without the steep learning curve associated with software development, blockchain or smart contracts. Now to the highly anticipated Lace Wallet from IOG. Far more than just a wallet, Lace is a light wallet platform designed to be the gateway into the world of blockchain, combining a whole range of web-free features. Lace will enable you to store your digital assets with multi-asset functionality, stake your radar, vote on chain, manage identity with its integrated identity center Atala, and safely browse the certified DApp Store Explorer. With full Cardano node security courtesy of Mithril, all these great features are at the user's fingertips on mobile or desktop browser. It's clear the power of this product is going to play a major role in that network effect that we speak of often on this channel. Now briefly to audit and DAP certification. IOG's certification program is designed to help anyone building on Cardano comply with the best practices across the industry. This program will encourage the development of code to the highest standards and go a long way in making it easier for us as users to identify the DAPs which adhere to these standards, resulting in our interactions in the web free space being safe and secure. A DAP store with certification standards is going to enhance the quality of development, user experience, and will move the industry forward to a world that values security, something much needed when we look at the amount of loss suffered to hacks in recent times. Now there's always constant discussion on which blockchain is ultimately the most decentralized, but we still don't have a conclusive way in actually measuring this. As discussed many times on this channel, the research and work behind the Edinburgh Decentralized Index is well underway, and will prove to be key in not only identifying the level of decentralization, but form a true benchmark or criteria for establishing and measuring this. This completely independent body of research is going to lay the foundations for the blockchain space to move forward to realizing true decentralization. What's more, it's IOG that are responsible for setting this up, which in my opinion says a lot about their principles when it comes to blockchain. Now to Cardano and their open source efforts. With the Cardano Foundation joining the Linux Foundation as a gold member, as I've highlighted previously, this is a move in the blockchain world that's pretty much unprecedented and very few get to share a platform with the Linux Foundation. This kind of relationship requires an immense level of commitment to evolving technology. In a fairly short time horizon, we could see Cardano nodes being installed on any Linux machines, literally with one click resulting in any Linux user being able to process Cardano transactions and or interact with the blockchain. This opens up a world of possibilities, for example, nazi dApps on Unix being directly connected to Cardano. In terms of Cardano and their desires to become a truly open source platform, this is a real big one. Now to a brief look at Voltaire governance and the members based organisation. In effect, true governance will be achieved by the community controlling the initiation of the Hullful Combinator, changes to parameters, the SIP process and treasury management. In the beginning you had the Cardano Foundation, Emergo and IOHK covering governance, ecosystem growth and tech. That structure will now be moving to a members based organisation which will run the entire bureaucracy of the protocol governance, moving from the original tripartite structure to a members based organisation where membership is based on merit. With the D parameter soon to be removed in the up and coming half fork event, the roadmap in terms of the tech rollout edging closer to completion, and with Dirk working closer with the Cardano Foundation on the members based organisation, the road to true governance for Cardano is very much underway. Now to something that the Cardano ecosystem specifically in terms of DeFi is in much need of and is finally going to be a reality in the coming months. After the Vassal half fork, we'll see the deployment of Jed, the algorithmic stablecoin, this is going to be a game changer in terms of the utility it brings and will also go a long way in attracting other blockchain users to come and interact in our DeFi space. Recently, they released the Jed fee structure, which I've linked in the description for you to take a closer look. Finally, to something that rather than we're waiting for is in full swing, but I thought was worth highlighting in a video looking at all things shaping Cardano's future. Currently in Fund9, one of Cardano's greatest weapons is Catalyst, the world's largest decentralized innovation fund. Project Catalyst has awarded over 12.5 million in ADA to over 500 projects, and the fund size has grown from 250,000 to 16 million. This resource is powering the community to collaborate, innovate, and in turn provide real-world solutions through the projects being built. 
Catalyst has and will continue to play a vital role in the growth of the Cardano ecosystem. And what's great is everyone can get involved in either the voting process or raising proposals of your own to further contribute in shaping the future of Cardano. So that's my bite-sized roundup of just some of the key developments coming soon to Cardano and marks the end of another installment of Cardano Insights. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found value in the content, and if you did, then please be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Your support here goes a long way in helping Sapien reach that wider audience and spread those positive Cardano vibes. We'll be back soon with your daily roundup. Until then, thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and as always, keep it Cardano.